Today we're talking about body preference and body image. A lot of people think that you have to like what's PC and our bodies don't always feel that way. We don't always feel that way. This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And this is Kathy Vartuli from theintimacydojo.com. And the other day I was talking to someone and she was kind of embarrassed because her boyfriend had told her that he didn't find me attractive. He, her boyfriend found didn't find you attractive? Yes. That's exactly what you want to be telling your girlfriends. <laughs> not because Kathy's not attractive, but because that's your girlfriend! Well, the point was, she was all embarrassed because she thought I'd be insulted. Mm -hmm. And she, was, she wanted to share because it was bothering her. Which is fine. I, I'm, my friends and I have very open conversations. But she was confused because she thought that people are supposed to like... You know, we have, we have a very, very fun connection. And so she was confused why he didn't find me attractive because he doesn't, he's not attracted to bigger women. Mm -hmm. And she expected me, I think, to be hurt. Okay. Um, and I wasn't. So I love when you talk about how our body, you know, we don't always like what's Are you attracted to him? Um, he's fun, but not necessarily, no. If you're watching, she doesn't like you either! Um, but, I mean, it's the, not the, about that though. The no, point. exactly. That's the point. Like that's why I'm making fun of it. Like it's about like you're allowed to be attracted to like you can like people and not have to be attracted to them. Yeah. You can be attracted to people and not like them. Yes. Right. So that's really about what's erotic and what turns you on, which is often not a logical kind of a thing. Yes. And then we have the PC thing, and and we're supposed to be open-hearted and like you know unconditional love. Well, you can have unconditional love for people and not be turned on by them. Yes. And we don't talk about that. No, and I, I think that's why I wanted to bring that up. I think it's really important to know that just because you, humans have preferences for what they find sexy. Hmm? And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that in the past, I'd really been hurt when someone's found me unattractive because of my size, because I had my own internal shame. Yeah. And so when they said, you know, you're just bigger, and like it asks, I'd go out on a date with someone, I'd say, they say, I don't want to see you again. I'd say, why? They'd say, well, you know, you're not a bigger woman and that's not my thing. Um, and I also wasn't filtering my dating profile at that point. I wasn't mm -hmm. putting it at the top. So I was meeting people that that wasn't necessarily something they preferred or liked yeah. um, or didn't care about one way or the other. But it, it was proof to me that my shame was real. Mm -hmm. That my, I thought because I was bigger, I was unattractive, my body wasn't beautiful. So it kind of fed into that shame. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that when we start feeling that kind of shame, we get to look inside first and see what we're telling ourselves about our bodies. Yeah. Or what culture is telling you about your body. Yeah, absolutely. Which you've adopted as, as the truth. And people, hu humans do that. You're kind of brainwashed. You're constantly bombarded with skinny is happy, skinny is good, skinny, like, you know, we're told that all the time. Yeah. I, I have a, you know, I sometimes wonder if, you know, for because there's so many there's such a stereotypical like what is beauty in our yes, culture yes. and if it was like if this was the 1500s we'd have a different version like if you were six foot tall walking around in a skinny model people would think you were unhealthy back in the 1500s so there's yeah. a pendulum of what body image you know what's approved mm -hmm. and what's what's desirable right um you know so like understanding that that you've inherited the cultural programming or paradigm of the day and that it will shift again now you and i may not be alive in 22 25 when things are different who knows but you can let go of your own personal mm -hmm. issues and you can often find more um it's not, not satisfaction but uh approval mm -hmm. by hanging out with people who like who are into whatever you're into yes or whatever you look like yeah, so I think that the point here is identify what works for you mm -hmm. and then look for those kinds of people. Date your species. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Leave comments. Yeah, we'd love to hear what you think. Bye.